I'll start by offering a prayer to the sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the unicorn, present its grandeur before me. So the ring is restored at last. You have done well. If I may ask a question, you said that if we wished to match Galerius' might, we would first need to unbind the ring's power. But I wonder, why did you bid us return here after? That I may bestow upon you the power of cleansing, accumulated within these walls over the passing of centuries. Do you imply the renewed ring is not enough to defeat him? It is not. If you wish to bring such events to bear, you must usher the souls of Zenoira's people to their long-awaited salvation. The Zenoira of old was an ancient kingdom, said to have fallen in a single cursed night. What do its denizens have to do with this? The night you allude to was that of failed ceremony, one in which they relinquished their corporeal forms. For countless years they suffered in discarnate agony, consigned to merely watch as a new world sprung forth from their own. As you may expect, the weaker hearted among them succumbed first to madness, then to an unyielding, rabid lust for evil. Tis only by the power of the sanctuaries that such wicked souls were put to slumber. Sealed away in a realm known solely as the Beyond. And Galerius used me and my father to break that seal. Quite so. He has torn open a scene between the land of the living and that of the dead. A scene through which he shall unite their beings, till neither one is distinct from the other. Then we know now what Galerius seeks. To resurrect the souls of ancient Zenoira. Should he succeed, this world will be met with grave disaster. Yet that is why our sanctuaries exist. Make use of our strength and bring eternal salvation to the souls of the lost. Now, the power of cleansing housed within these sacred grounds will prove a great boon in the battle ahead. Your will is my own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, your pilgrimage is fulfilled, and so too is the ring of the unicorn. Deliver your presence unto the decisive conflict, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives.
day will be ours. <laughs> the path is set. Judgment shall... St You'll not be disappointed. Your will shall be done. To the skies! At your service. Understood. Take cover! Your villainy ends here. Surprised. Victory grows ever closer. We march. Onward. Any who bar my path must perish. Ceiling yet. May the Father watch over us. Come then. Well fought. <clears throat> to me. Witness the might of an angel. I depart. Your villainy ends here. Shouldn't come as a surprise. Come then. Victory grows ever closer. No mercy. Victory is ours. We march. Path is set. We should be rid of this place. Oh, it is ours now. Ugh. Nowhere is too far, sir. <sighs> Blasphemous fool. I'll never hold myself back. You're nothing. Let it be done. It's all on you. Uh, 
brighter. In His Highness's honor, nothing stopping me now. For the safety of our people, all to protect my home. It seems you've misjudged me. Finally here, Grand Corin. Not a day passes that my mind is not filled with memories of this place. And how, despite my duty to Queen Elenia, I fled its walls when she needed me most. I've yearned for this moment for so long. Yet it scarcely feels real, now that it's finally come before me. Allow me to thank you in my mother's stead, Joseph. You have mentored me, trained me, and served almost as a father, all so that I could one day climb this mountain. Yet we stand now not at the apex, but looking ever upward from its base. The path ahead is steep and treacherous. I ask that you save such words until we've weathered its ascent. A point well made. This day, we dethrone Galerius, shatter Zenoira's foul ambitions, and usher in a new age for the people of this continent, one free of the tyranny and despair they've grown so accustomed to. I hope you're watching, Mother. For in the battle ahead, your son will finally see you avenged. Light restored to Cornea at last, to every shadow-ridden refuge throughout Fevrith. I can't believe we're really here. All those days of peace back on Palavia feel like a distant dream at this point. You got that right. I just hope Elaine's dealing with it okay. Ten years we've known the guy, and we've never once seen him rattled. He'll be fine. The same stoic way he always is. Yeah. Thank you, Lex. <gasps> huh? What's happening? Such tremors can only carry ill tidings. What wicked energy? Urgent news, your highness. Zenoira's soldiers have begun putting the people of Grand Corin to the sword. <laughs> The whole city's one big mass grave. Has Galerius lost his mind? What could drive him to do such a thing? That miasma appears to be a magic almost identical to their mind control powers. Not only that, but they're using some sort of crystal to diffuse it throughout the city. Yet we have the ring, made whole once again by the blessing granted in the Rite of Covenant. It should prove capable of combating the spell head-on. Hmm. If the Sage's proclamations are to be believed, Galerius intends to make the entire city subject to his ruthless rite of channeling. But the Sages gave us more than just words. They gave us strength, too. The strength to stop this ritual before it even starts. In any case, only one course of action remains. Prepare to march, everyone. Our lands shall suffer these atrocities no longer!
Preparations are complete, Sir Herman. Convey the order, and it shall be done. Heed my word, loyal soldiers of Drakenhold. This day, we march for King Gilbert, for Cornia! <laughs> such horrors. The gate to the beyond thirsts for blood, and we know better than to refuse its demands. Please, fair knights, we've shown Emperor Galerius nothing but the utmost loyalty. <laughs> You've had it easy behind these stout city walls, but now it's time to pay your due. I beg you, sirs, spare us our modest lives. As if that would change anything. Alive, you'd merely be a vessel for our fallen. A fate no different than death itself. So, you come before me at last. How many centuries I've awaited this day. It is an honor to bask in your glory once more, my liege. Ere long, the wrongs of the past will be wiped clean, and Zenoira will know the peace it has desired for so many years. Your summoning is but the first step toward that exalted right. And I take it our role is to ensure none interfere. Precisely. The gate to the beyond has been flung open, and your duty is to defend it no matter the cost. Consider it done, my liege, upon my honor as your most humble servant. As long as I see battle, I care not about the reason. Now if we're done here, I have an axe to sharpen. Worry not, my liege. Any who stand before my hellfire shall be reduced to not more than ash. We'll be bathing in blood before you know it. <laughs> Just as vicious as I remember. Now go. Strike forth in the name of Zenoira Reborn. I stand ready. Your will shall be done. Let's stay calm out there, whenever you need me. Understood. To the skies, at your service. Understood. Just tell me if any- Do you need a healer? Setting off. The day will be ours. <clears throat> to me. I'm here. I'll not go easy on you. 
May the Father watch over us. You'll not be disappointed. It's not a problem. can always train hard. A little stronger every day. Your orders, if you would. Heading there now. You want me to fight? I'll help however I can. Your villainy ends here. Fine bout. I've arrived. Any who bar my path must perish. As decreed by the Furl of Basturi. I wonder if I'm stronger than Lady Ocleus. Witness the might of an angel. I take to the skies. You'll not be disappointed. May the Father smile upon me. You face me. Victory grows ever closer. We march. Onward. Face me and be cut down. Dead and buried. I'll not go easy on you. I've not reached my... The pride of House Maye. I stand ready. Your will shall be done. Nowhere is too far, sir. Time is at hand. Villainy ends here. A fine bout. <clears throat> the path is set. In the name of the liberation. Whenever you need me. Understood. We march. It is merely a bit of pain. <clears throat> the time is at hand.
might of an angel. I depart. It's a... Take cover! Shall I proceed? Come then. grows ever closer. Your will shall be done. <laughs> Not a problem. Not bad at all. Witness the might of an aim I take to the skies. I shall be your shield. At once. I stand ready. Just let me fight already. Uh-huh. Take... <clears throat> you face me. Don't want to get too... Th <sighs> this is nothing. We march. The path is set. Come then. Impressive. Are a little closer to my former strength. The time is at hand. Onward. Tis ours.
You face me. Well thought. We march. To me. Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. <clears throat> Onward. You'll not be disappointed. I depart. Your orders, if you would. Advancing. I'll win the next one, too. We march. Nowhere is too far. Understood. Any who bar my path must perish. An offering to the heavens. I stand ready. I take to the skies. No, I can't move another inch. One down. Brace yourself. Don't mind if I do. Whenever you need me. Understood. That was nothing. Blasphemous fool. You'll not be disappointed. Not a problem. Let's keep going. The time is at hand. I'll win the next one, too. I'll not go easy on you. Greatest strength. My bows. I move forward in the light of the divine. I stand ready. I depart. I can't move another inch. You're nothing. It seems you've misjudged me. I stand ready. Sir, I've claimed it as our own. I need to take a break. the might of an angel. I take to the skies. What is it? Never stood a chance. Not gonna win this one. I'll tend to your wounds. Cell? Face me and be cut down. Dead and buried. At your service. At once. You're nothing. Tis the fruit of my lip. Higher still. Gotta keep getting strong. This power with diligence pays dividends. I've arrived. It's time to prove myself. I can't fail my sacred mission. Where should I go? Advancing. 
I'll cut clean. I'll heal you. Brace yourself. So far, so good. I can't move another inch. To me. No mercy. You'd better run. I'll tend to your wounds. I can't wait for my... I'm even better... Drink, sir. I soar to New Horizons. Just let me fight already. On it. It's not a problem. I won't stop now. You see that? Whenever you need me. Heading there now. It's time to prove myself. A little stronger every day. It's mine now. You're nothing. Where should I go? Brace yourself. Your orders, if you would. Advance it. Gonna need a minute. Face me and be cut down! It seems you've misjudged me. Nowhere is too far. Understood. So? Yep. One down. I'll help however I can. Do it. It's time to prove myself. Looks like I win. Whenever you need me. Understood. Not even worth bragging over. March. Onward. I made it. Just let me fight already. Uh huh. Do you need a healer? I understand. Come then. My name is Narcess, master and merchant of the magical arts. The sorcery in my command can be stayed no more than the grandest of rivers. Now. Drown amidst its swirling current. Will not fail! Bolster your defenses! Just a little magic. You shall suffer. <sighs> a regrettable end. You can do it. Grovel. Let's have some fun. Not bad. Watch keenly. My eyes. That must have hurt. Out. The 
time is at hand. Your orders, if you would. Heading there now. Not a problem. So far, so good. Done. At your service. Sir. That was coming. Need a take down. a break. Not even worth bragging over. Standing by. I've arrived. I'll be taking this. Ugh, can't move another inch. I stand inch. ready. At once. Need a take a break. It appears I've still impressed the lane. Ugh, can't move another inch. That was nothing. I need to take a break. I'll help however I can. I'll do it. You'll not be disappointed. Service. Sir. I stand ready. <sighs> Victory awaits. No mercy. You stand before the warrior Halonius. A man who has long since transcended the art of war, and now shall set ablaze this tortured world till only cinders remain. But first, to see if you can defy my blade, a height none of my time could reach. Well met! Here's your shield! Not be outdone. Huh. It's mine to lose. your soul.
face me and be- I'll heal you. I can help. My training's paid off. Victory is ours. Soldiers of our once fallen empire. By the thrust of your blades, our ancient Zenoira shall be birthed anew upon Fevrith soil. Today, we restore this land to its rightful rulers. <coughs> now then, the hour has come. And so too shall victory, once the sigil is complete and this realm merged with the beyond. Defend the castle at any cost, and deliver salvation unto the people of Zenoira! <laughs> March. Whenever you need me. I stand ready. Their tyranny ends here. Understood. I need to take a break. Where should I go? Understood. It's time to prove myself. Looks like I win. Whenever you need me. Heading there now. Get me out of here! The time is at hand. Not a problem. Not bad at all. Where should I go? Advancing. Oh, I can't move another Stand inch. here for now. As you command. Advancing. I need Where to next? take a break. Whenever you need me. Understood. No, oh, I can't move another inch. <laughs> the 
path is set. Time to prove myself. Don't mind if I do. Your orders, if you would. Heading there now. Where right. should I go? Your orders, if you would. Advancing. Someone must have dropped this. Where should I go? Heading there now. You face me. Well fought. The time is at hand. To me. Witness the might of an angel. For the liberation. We march. Onward. Nowhere is too far. I've captured it. I stand ready. Whenever you need me. Advancing. No. May the Father watch over us. Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. The path is set. Tis ours now. We march. Onward. Brace yourself. So far, so good. Your orders, if you would. Understood. Come then. Well fought. The time is at hand. The path is set. What is it? Location secured. I stand ready. You'll not be disappointed. I stand ready. Witness the might of an angel. Disappointed. I depart. You face me. A fine bout. <clears throat> Onward. For the liberation. We march. To me. Splendid. I've arrived. <clears throat> the path is set. It's not safe. We march. Come then. Victory grows ever closer. <clears throat> to me. Any who bar my path must perish. I've not reached my... The Praz decree for all of us. I wonder if I'm stronger than Lady Ocleus. I stand ready. Your will shall be done. Tis ours. By the Father's will. You face me. Well fought. We march. Onward. Tis ours now. The time is at hand. The path is set. Whenever you need me. Got the sting of a scorpion, if I have to. We march. Stronger than ever. 
Come then. Need a hand? The hour of reckoning is soon at hand, and none shall deny my people their glory. So come if you wish, powerless fools. Meet your demise before the acts of Galerius, almighty emperor of your meager world! You've crushed a continent beneath your heel, oppressed its people, trampled its fields, yet still you claim to deserve its crown. It ends today, Galerius. Now perish in the light of Febrith Pure! Forward! You'll not break me! Just a little magic. Better heal up. The rot shot. Focus your mind. Cheer up! Prepare for your end! I won't hold back! Not finished yet! Ride and pepper! No! Any last word? Bout. Galerius, Emperor of Zenoira. Your ambitions are laid bare, and your empire in ruin. <laughs> if you hope to speak, you'll find me no willing participant. I have no words for you. And this, now. Galerius, you saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past. I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! How is he still fighting? My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh. Left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years! My strength and my body, their fury given form. While the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond, their emperor shall never know defeat. Your Majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. We'll never lose to the likes of you! What do you think you're doing? Up 
apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! Thank the Father. She's okay. Speak to me, please. You fought valiantly, Elenia. But this battle has reached its conclusion. You're wrong. And I shall have your head for thinking otherwise. <laughs> Your hubris was the end of you, Valmor. What sorcery is this? Do you see now the futility of your struggle? By cutting me down, you have doomed yourself to a life reborn as my new vessel. Madness. How does Valmor yet live? He doesn't. The man was a simple human, undeserving of the glorious soul of an emperor. Name yourself at once! I am Baltro, sorcerer of the great and storied Zenoran Empire. The very empire whose armor was passed through Valmor's family for generations on end. And it was I who bound our Emperor's soul to that armor. I can't move. So it's true. The Cornian ruling family bears the blood of the Maiden. No matter. Your feeble flesh shall now play host to Galerius, ruler of all creation. <laughs> I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. The decision is complete, and the gate to the beyond stands open and true! Prisoners of the Unicorn's Curse. Spectral phantoms from an ancient time. You shall be the first to perish by my new found strength. Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, Your Highness? We end this long drawn war, here and now. We have to stop him. But if anyone can do it, it's you, the savior of Thevrith. Come home, both of you.
judgment shall strike. Witness the might of an angel. I depart. To the skies! Nowhere is too far. At once. Let's stay calm out there. Your orders, if you would. Heading there now. You've tried, Paltro, but you shall never break our spirit. I promise you that. Now prepare to be vanquished by the might of Febrith! One scalp left, and it's the biggest snake of them all. Breathe deep, Baltro. I promise it'll be your last. This time, Vinisa, no harm will come to you. We'll not fail! Is that all? You can do it! Half-wit! Unicorn, grant me strength! Uh, uh, resist! 
Just a little magic. You shall... Resurrection. <laughs> A witless idea, born of the fool Galerius. He served his purpose well enough in prizing open the gate to the beyond. And now, he shall be consumed like all the rest. <laughs> What's more, there would be little benefit in reviving mere humans. The souls of your brethren mean nothing to you? As fuel for my magic? Most certainly. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? You're the monster! Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more. And in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Pathetic child. Souls of the departed, if you have any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! Leaving me! You've ruined everything! A cursed fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives, human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city's very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it! The only sin awaiting you, Ultra, is death's cold embrace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come, Alain. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! I'm with you. Oh, 
my knowledge, all of my research, lost to the endless emptiness of time. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Your coronation is set to commence at any moment. A word first, if I may. With the much-awaited fall of Zenoiran rule, we finally attained our most coveted dream. Twas a vow I made to the ring itself. A promise fashioned out of steel and blood. Yet, can a champion tempered in the flames of war truly lead in times of peace? From the day of its very inception, Your Highness, the Liberation Army has boasted a singular gift. Its ranks bore nobles, sellswords and civilians alike. Disparate nations united as one under a common banner. Your banner. None could ever question the strength of such a leader. He speaks the truth, you know. Should you not be sound in bed right now? And miss the day my son is crowned king? I wouldn't so much as dream of it. Elaine, you stand before me a man full grown. One who will rule these lands with compassion and love. Just as you've done for all those who fought beside you. Be proud, my son. Not only of what you accomplished, but how you've made it so. I will, Mother. Thank you both, from the depths of my heart. Now then, a radiant future for Cornea awaits. Year 906 of the Hallowed Chronicle. Thus, with all of Evereth as his witness, a bold young king ascended the throne. Ere long, the scourge of Galerius and ancient Zenoira would be little more than footnotes on the pages of history. And those scars of war yet blighted the land its people, awed and inspired by Cornea's noble ruler, began their arduous trek down the path to recovery. Forevermore would the Chronicles of Fevereth extol the Savior Elaine's sacred journey, a legend only embellished in the generations to come. That of a divine beast and a liberator king that bore its name the Unicorn Overlord.
If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. Done and done. Be seeing you. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Bye now. Good seeing you, friend. I'll take your order anytime. Don't be a stranger. <laughs>